Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Second Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another full review to do for you guys. This time I have the Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Undertaker figure. If you guys missed out my um, Target mail call, go ahead and check it out. There's going to be a link down below to the video um, in the description. And I'm going to leave a card up in the right hand corner for you guys as well. Um, now, crazy thing about this Undertaker Ultimate Edition is um, that when I went to go look for it when they when it dropped because it dropped at the same time the legends uh, line did i found it on the day before on saturday before they were supposed to release and uh it has happened to me before where i don't get street dated well that day i picked up um the rosie and the jamal and i got street dated so um i'm like yeah if i would have gotten that taker because i saw three undertakers in that same like store and I was, I was gonna get them but i'm like nah if i get street dated them then they're not gonna let me purchase them so i just got the legends instead and yeah eventually i got street dated now the next day that i went again to go pick them up the three undertakers were gone so yeah someone beat me to them and ever since i've, I've only seen them one more time in the store but it was in a different store and it was after i had already purchased these online um, now, there was a, a whole thing online with the price. It rang up as a regular Elite $22.99, and I had to get them then and there. So, for me, it was, uh, I guess it was a win. But I think it was overall in every Target, it happened like that. Because I think they even did the whole price thing in the actual store. Um, I think. I could be wrong. But, anyways, enough yapping. Here is the Undertaker Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition second undertaker um, ultimate that we're gonna get that we're getting well technically the third because we got the best of undertaker but it's basically the re-release of the first undertaker that we've got that we got already so this undertaker is the 2000 2010 undertaker because i don't think we've gotten this one before uh or maybe i just don't have it in my collection i have more of the older undertaker series you can see i have the ministry of darkness undertaker I have um, a similar 2010 Undertaker where he came with like a haircut. I don't know when, from that era that was. And then I have the Boneyard Match Undertaker. Sorry, I'm pointing the wrong way. Uh, Boneyard Match Undertaker. Um, and I think that's it. I also got the new Undertaker on the SummerSlam wave. Which kind of like a more modern Undertaker with those pants. But... Yeah, here it is right here. Um, and I also have a couple, two more Undertakers that I'm going to show you here in a bit as well to kind of compare that it's kind of like, kind of the same thing as we have here as well. Um, I'm not really sure if these heads are reused. I believe this one is. I'm not really sure about these two. This one doesn't even look like Undertaker. This one does. So I might just keep that one. And this one, I already have it on my other Undertaker. So yeah, he comes with a hat, three interchangeable heads the robe or entrance robe and then the world heavyweight championship big gold nice to see these as well i, I don't get enough of these these are this this title is one of my favorites as well as the spinner and the undisputed here is um the hands right there in the inside that we only get oh we get we get three pairs close fisted uh and then I, these these kind of choke slimy hands are the ones that he does in the entrance like this to kind of like turn on the lights and then the um mic holding hands here's undertaker uh, right there on the side undertaker we're having me in the back there's a cool shot right here with the championship and it looks more like ai here and there's him right there there's some information right here on the back and some stats of him wwe legends on this one for the target exclusive logo <clears throat> I want to get the uh, Big Evil Undertaker in the Ultimate Edition form. That'd be so cool with uh, the shades, the bandana, and then he where he had the like the reddish hair, um, and like kind of like how I remembered it back in like two thousand one, Undertaker with his motorcycle, really dominant. Because I know they did a Big Evil one like that, but with the hoodie and everything, that'd be cool uh, to get one of those Ultimates. Uh, maybe they could do that in the fan takeover. I kind of vote for that one, you know. That'll be that'll be a pretty cool one because we just get mostly all dead man 
Dead Man Undertaker gimmicks. And we got the um one of his older one, mean Mark Callis in the Legends line, but I mean that's a way older figure there. Uh I want the big evil uh, ultimate edition. We got one I think there's one big evil elite and to have him with the WWE Undisputed. Oh, that'd be epic. But anyways, guys, let's get on to the unboxing here. I'm taking WWE Legends. Guys, also, I have been doing a lot uh, more playing around with the stop motions. Uh, I've been trying to upload um, some wrestling figure moves to my socials and including here to this uh, YouTube shorts. So check them out, guys on youtube youtube shorts instagram reels and tiktok <clears throat> here it is the undertaker we have the hat i think we got this hat um already i have i had one of the jacks hats um which it has i think i don't know where that one is actually i think i have it in my other undertaker my jacks shelf uh, maybe it's the one that i have on this other undertaker i'm not sure <laughs> repeat head scan This other head scan that it feels like it doesn't look like Undertaker. Probably one of the best accessories. Soft goods, faux leather here. Very nice. Big gold. Second best accessory, or I don't know how you really want to rank them. First accessory. Better belt. Championship belt or soft goods? Always top, top accessories for figures. Or the mic holding, or the the close fist of hands, both hands. The um, open like kind of like this type of hand. I don't know how you call that. And this is the Undertaker. Maybe that's why there's not a lot of them in stores anymore, or there was not a lot, because I didn't. I've only seen them twice, like I said, the first time that I went, and the the second time after, I had already purchased them online because uh, the price mess up that Target did. I think that's why they all kind of just went off the shelves. But man, this Undertaker's so damn loose, which is a good thing I took him out of the package. I do have another one in my uh, mock collection, but that's just gonna stay up there. It's not gonna open those but yeah let's go over this guy accessory and then we'll show off the other ones uh let's start off with the hands because these are all still like repeat hands right here these are like the brock lesnar hands um they just paint them on with the the whole molding of the of the of the glove uh so those are close fisted these are open mic right here which Open mic, you never could go wrong. I, I don't, I don't. If they were to just eliminate the close fisted hands and just give them open mic hands, I mean they do the same function. So might as well just give them the freaking mic holding hands and a different pose hands. These are cool. Um, you can use these as choke slamming hands, or um, you can use them for like posing them with the entrance there on the, on the steel steps, to turn on the lights and stuff on your fig fed. These are pretty cool. I might even put these on. So actually, because I think the other Undertaker didn't come with these. Um, we get three heads right here. So we get this one that is kind of like making like a like a mad face here. But it doesn't look like the Undertaker. This looks more like the Undertaker here with the tongue out. But I have this uh, head already on the other Undertaker. And I don't want to have the same guy pose twice the same. <clears throat> here we have this head right here, which also resembles Undertaker pretty good. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I might just keep this one, honestly. I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put this head scan on that one. And then you have this beautiful entrance coat right here. Entrance robe, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, that, like, leather, full leather material here looks nice. And then inside you have that, like, other kind of, like, spandex material. Looks cool. Then you have the big gold World Heavyweight Championship, which they never paint the rubies on those side plates. <clears throat> but these this these titles can never go out of style. This is from 2010. It actually fits the era of The Undertaker. And, of course, the hat. Can't forget the hat right here. The big hat right here that resembles The Undertaker. Dead man. 
very nice very nice now let's um oh, actually let's go over his his gear here we have uh elbow pad right here which i always give him this huge elbow pad i know he used to have huge elbow pads but nah i mean come on I can reduce him a little bit uh his singlet here you have the glove hands right here which you also have the the glove gauntlet part right here to, to kind of like you know resemble like the strap of the of the glove you have the the big wings right here of the like the double the big big evil same here on the other side they kind of pop because of red it looks pretty cool i like that and then the rest is just all black all black boot boots very nice now you can turn the head all the way around because this hair doesn't really get on the way uh you can move his arms all the way back as well you get the good Good butterfly joints, buttery smooth there on that uh, shoulder. You have some upper bicep swivel, double jointed arms. This one, you can't really do it all the way back because of the elbow pad. And these are kind of like, this is a kind of hard, uh, like rubber material or not rubber. Is it rubber? But it's just hard. You have uh, these pivoting here or, you know, articulation on the, on the arm, on the, on the wrists, rotation on the waist and good it's not it's not like you know loose on the app crunch which is good the arms are really good now the legs are the ones that were kind of like super loose look at this upper thigh cut right there really loose on on the right side uh double jointed knee very good loose on this end right here as well with the upper boot cut as well and this one as well come on man he can kick really really far with these open or these drop down hips here. And for like the Remus if you guys saw my review, like when you put them down, it, it kind of like gets stuck because I think this guy's on ball joints. So you can move them all the way around and pretty good. And now you can pop them back up there. Very nice. And the this this uh hinge right here on the on the toe is also very very loose on mine. So hopefully he can stand up really good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's put on the championship, which is how we're going to have him post really quickly here. And then we'll put on the robe and we'll put on the hat. And then we'll bring up the rest of the other guys. Which is just another two, two other ones that I have to show you guys here is the Undertaker in all his glory. And the hat fits perfect. Look at that. Sick. I might keep that head scan for sure. Undertaker World Heavyweight Championship. Very good. Nice. All right, cool. Now I have this Undertaker, which is, I think, the WrestleMania 34, 32 Undertaker um, Elite. And as you can see, he kind of has the same robe. But uh, this is a different material as that one. But it's kind of like the same style. Now, this is a more modern Undertaker because he has these uh, kind of like jeans right here. The goatee and the short hair. So, this is like a later Undertaker here. But I thought I will bring it out because he kind of has the same uh, robe here. And this, I think this is the hat that it came with my Jax Undertaker. It's kind of like the same as this Undertaker here. Now, I noticed that they didn't put the, the Sarah tattoo either on here. Uh, I don't know if by 2010 he didn't have it anymore. But yeah, so I just put that the hat on him for now. Um, and then, of course, his Ultimate Edition. His first Ultimate, I think this is Ultimate Edition. Let's see, I think this is Ultimate Edition 11, I want to say. And then, of course, they did re-release him again um, in the Roman Oscar set. Which I didn't really care for because I already had it. So, <clears throat> the best of... um. The best of old Undertaker, and this is the original Ultimate Edition Eleven here. But uh, yeah, this is the like a late, like an earlier Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, and as you can see, kind of has the same head scan here. Although it may look different, but it's just a little bit touch up. And also, this Undertaker, they only gave him these um, choke slamming open like secret pants. Um, so this is why. I might keep this taker with this with these right here. These look pretty cool for that taker. 
So these may be even a new mold actually. So yeah, I'm putting that on these and posing them around. So anyways, guys, that has been it for this Undertaker Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition figure. Let me know what you guys think. And like, again, uh, follow my socials, guys. I'm posting um, wrestling figure moves every week. Monday on YouTube shorts, Tuesday on TikTok, and, and Thursday on Instagram. So, yeah, check those out, guys. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 800 subs. We'll see you in the next one.